Nikola Tesla was born on July 10, 1856, in the town of Simuljan, present-day Serbia. Tesla's father was a priest. He wanted his son to become a priest like him. His mother was an illiterate woman, but she was widely known as the inventor of practical household appliances. Tesla was one of five children in the family. His first surname was Draganic, but when he came of age, he did not want to use this surname and changed it to Tesla by applying to the court. Her older brother died in a horse accident when she was 12. Some sources write that his brother's horse was frightened by Tesla, which is why the accident occurred. Since he lost his brother as a child, Tesla developed many obsessions and showed symptoms similar to schizophrenia. With the support of his mother, Tesla developed his knowledge of physics and mathematics and studied at the Prague Polytechnic University in Graz, Austria. He learned German, English, French, and Italian. Here he increased his knowledge of electricity. However, he dropped out of the first semester of the third grade due to his personal obsessions and a sociality. Although some circles said that he finished school, the university reported that Tesla did not graduate and did not go to school after the first semester of 1878. His family experienced a severe depression during this period. Later, at his father's request, he entered the Charles Ferdinand University in Prague. Dropping out of school on the death of his father, Tesla started working for a telephone company in Paris. Here he gained important experience in direct current motors and dynamos. He invented regulator-like control devices at the company to protect his rotating machinery during this period. According to Tesla, using direct current was wrong as a system. It was necessary to eliminate the commutator in the generator and motor using alternating current. However, the job was not easy as there was no motor to operate with alternating current. Classmate Sajeti discovered the rotating magnetic field that would revolutionize the electrical industry. Thus, the commutator disappeared. He also designed the alternating current electrical system from start to finish. Booster and stepper for the economical transmission of energy, transformers, and alternating current motors for obtaining mechanical power from the motor were invented by him. The opportunities and chances that Nikola Tesla sought were not easily obtained. When he met Edison, who was looking for a market for an incandescent lamp in his first laboratory on Pearl Street in New York at the time, Tesla told with youthful enthusiasm the alternating current system he had invented. You're wasting your time on theory, Edison later said. Tesla tells Edison about his work and his alternating current plan. Edison is not very interested in alternating current and gives Tesla a task. Tesla completed the task in a few months when he learned that Edison would give him $50,000 even though he didn't like the task given to him. It has solved the problems in the DC power station. Edison is surprised when he asks for the promised reward, and when he starts to think like an American he says he can understand American jokes and doesn't pay a fee. Tesla immediately resigns. A short period of cooperation will be followed by a long period of competition. While struggling to make a living by digging holes in the Western Union Company for a year in America, he was also drawing the projects of many systems such as generator, transformer, transmission line, engines, lights, two-phase systems, and even three-phase systems. White. His life changed when he met the owners of Brown's firm. They built him a lab on West Broadway and invested some money. Professor at Colony University Dr. W. A. Anthony tried the alternating current motor and declared that the synchronous motor was sufficient as the best direct current motor. In November and December of 1887, Tesla received a total of seven U.S. patents for his inventions. In April 1886, he received a patent for polyphase systems. It has received 18 more patents by the end of this year. He subsequently received several European patents. He gave a conference at the current AIEE, whose current name is IEEE, and told the world engineers about single and multi-phase current systems. George Westinghouse noticed his genius and went to meet him in his lab. 
he offered $1 million in cash for alternating current patents and $2.50 from each product sale. There was great success across the country, and competitor General Electric had to obtain a license from Westinghouse. Since the contract in question left the company in a difficult situation during the current wars with Edison, according to some sources, Tesla did not receive $1 million and terminated the contract. In 1890, the country started to work on generating electricity over Niagara Falls and Tesla was appointed as the chairman of the commission. Westinghouse contracted for 10 5,000 horsepower hydroelectric generators and General Electric for the transmission line. The system was ideal for Tesla's two-phase project. To reduce parts, he designed large alternators with external rotating area and fixed internal armature. Ten large alternators of 1775 amps, 2,250 volts, two phases, 25 hertz, making 250 revolutions per minute, produced 50,000 horsepower or 37,000 kilowatts of electricity. Tesla held a demonstration at the Mason Square Garden in 1898 with his system that eliminated remote communication with moors. He placed a large water tank in the middle of the electricity fair and circus area. He put a one-meter-long boat to float on top of this tank. He remotely controlled the boat by radio frequency. Thus, he laid the foundation of today's GPRS system, all systems with remote control, space technologies, and remote communication systems. Having an extraordinary character, Tesla has never been successful in money management. He spent the last years of his life constantly changing hotels to escape his debts. Nikola Tesla was found dead on January 7, 1943, at the age of 86, by hotel attendant Alice Monahan in room 3327 on the 33rd floor of the New Yorker Hotel. Assistant Dr. H.W. According to the Wembley diagnosis, Tesla died as a result of occlusion of the coronary vessels by a blood clot. Before he died, all the documents of Tesla, who was conducting a study called the Teleforce Weapon, were confiscated by the U.S. government. Tesla never married. She thought that being single and asexual helped her scientific abilities. He had an easily angered disposition.